Hi, welcome to Nursing School Explain. In this first video in the atrioventricular block series about first degree AV or hard blocks. If you haven't already done so, I highly recommend watching my basic introductory EKG interpretation videos termed basic electrophysiology and EKG interpretation basics about EKG paper and determination of heart rate as well as the normal intervals and rules to memorize that you can apply to every different rhythm strip so that you always approach this in a very methodical and systematic approach. So the atrioventricular junction is a specialized conduction tissue that connects the electrical links between the atrium and the ventricles. Keep in mind that um, Medical terminology always kind of gives away the, term, the, the solution. So AV junction is the connection between the atrium and the ventricle. But any conduction delay or interruption in the AV junction, and, and the parts would be the AV node, the bundle of His, or the His Purkinje fiber system, can cause an AV or hard block, as it's sometimes also referred to. And today we'll be looking at this first degree AV block, which means that there's a conduction delay in the AV node that causes a prolongation in the PR interval. And remember the PRI or PR interval represents the time that it takes the impulse to reach through the atrium all the way to the top part of the ventricles. So now if we have a delay here in the AV junction, it's going to be represented by a prolonged PRI. And the, a first degree heart block is an incomplete heart block. Second degree heart block is also determined as incomplete, where third degree will be a complete heart block, but we'll look at those details in different videos. So here's a brick brief review of the conduction system of the heart from the AV to the AV node to the bundle of His and then the Purkinje fibers. So any conduction delay here in any of these uh, traveling down through the atrium will cause a delay and an AV block. And remember, um, this is basically from the P to the R. So then we're going to have this um, prolonged PRI PR interval. When we analyze a rhythm strip, we always go about it in this methodical way by looking at rate, rhythm regularity, the P waves, and the intervals. So in a first degree AV block, the rate is typically normal, 60 to 100. It is usually pretty regular, um, and we can see that here, basically with the naked eye, that these QRSs have the same distance. We could also take the calipers and march this out or overlay this with a simple uh, piece of white paper and then march it out as I discussed in my other video to determine that this is a regular rhythm. Now in terms of the P wave in first degree AV, AV block, the P waves will be normal and they will be upright and there will be one for every QRS. But now because of this conduction delay that we discussed, the PRI is prolonged at 0 0.2, at greater than 0 0.20 or greater than five boxes. And the QRS is typically normal at 0 0.12 or less than that. So if we look at this fifth impulse here, we can see this P wave starts at this thick line here. And if I count these, one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six. So now I know this is greater than five boxes that would correspond to 0 0.24. So I know my PRI is supposed to be up to 0 0.20. So now I know that I'm dealing with a prolonged PRI and that there is this conduction delay through the AV junction. And then the QRS will typically be normal because once the impulse reaches the ventricles, the ventricles respond in a normal fashion. So if, for example, we could look at this impulse here, starting at this line, one, two, three. So this would be two boxes. So that would be an impulse of 0 0.08, which is less than the 0 0.12, which makes the QRS normal. 
So in a first degree AV block, basically everything is normal except the PRI is prolonged. This is a little bit of a better look at this. Um, and if we just with the naked eye look from this thick line, the beginning of the P to the beginning of the R, which is right here, we can already see that this is greater than just one box from the thick lines. So we already know that this is a first degree AV block by knowing that the PRI is greater than 0 0.20 seconds. Causes for first degree AV blocks, it may be a normal finding in athletes, but it also may be due to injury or ischemia to the AV node or junction that causes this conduction delay. Certain medications can make the patient more prone to first degree AV blocks, and these include beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, digoxin, and amiodarone. And we know that potassium is very important in conducting the electrical activity through the heart, so hyperkalemia can make the patient have a first degree AV block. Certainly acute MI, which goes along with this ischemia injury to the AV node or junction that we discussed up here, and then any increase in vagal tone, so stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system, can also make the patient more prone for a first degree AV block. For signs and symptoms, patients are sometimes asymptomatic, as in these athletes that might have this as a normal finding. But if it is associated with an MI, the patient may have typical symptoms such as chest pain, shortness of breath, dizziness, syncope, sweating, diaphoresis, any of these typical MI symptoms. Interventions for first degree AV block, if the patient is asymptomatic, we might not need any. But if there's an acute MI, certainly we need to act on that. So, and every hospital will have MI and acute coronary syndrome protocols to go by those. And that usually um, the end goal is to get the patient to the cath lab and take a look by angiogram to see the extent of the blockage. Here are some references and other websites for you to look at to practice your rhythm strips because now that we're getting into these AV blocks, it's getting a little bit more complicated and I really recommend that you look at those um, rhythm strips so that you can start applying these rules and the more you practice, of course, the better you'll get at it. I also have quizzes uh, posted on my Instagram page that come out every Monday that you can follow that will go into quizzes about different EKG rhythms on a weekly basis. Please also watch my other videos in the EKG interpretation playlist. These are all the videos and then specifically here we have the AV blocks. Today was first degree. There will be other videos about second and third degree AV blocks. Thanks for watching Nursing School Explained. Please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, Make comments on these videos and share with all your friends. Thanks for watching.